A group of activists took to Westminster on Wednesday morning to protest the government's plan to get rid of the export tariff, which encourages people to invest in solar panels. They set up a pop-up solar farm with solar panels and a giant inflatable sun. I spoke to Leo Murray, Director of Strategy at 1010 Climate Action, the group in charge of the protest. In the face of uh, a lot of terrifying news about climate change, mm. and um, we know we're not on track to meet our carbon budgets in the UK, the government is planning to not just end all subsidies for decentralised renewables, but actually to take away something called the export tariff. Now this is not a subsidy, this is just a guarantee of a, of a payment, a fair price for power that you generate on site from renewables, but don't use yourself and export to the grid. So there'll be an EU directive coming into force in April, which won't apply to us, um, which mandates a fair price is paid to people who generate their own renewable electricity. This is gonna destroy the household rooftop solar market. Um, it's gonna make it extremely difficult for businesses to install solar on their roofs. Um, because unless you are using all of the electricity that you generate, um, you're not gonna make your money back. We will be expected, people who install solar panels will be expected to donate their electricity to big supply companies who will literally then sell the electricity that you generated to your neighbors, um, but, they, but they won't pay for it. A business, energy and industrial strategy spokesperson said, the scheme has made an important contribution to low carbon electricity generation and has outstripped our predictions and generated enough electricity for 2 million homes. However, the scheme is funded through levies and suppliers and ultimately consumers pay, regardless of whether or not they directly participate in the scheme. The UK leads the world in renewable energy and will continue to do so. Since 1990, we have cut emissions by more than 40% and the government will invest more than £2.5 billion on low carbon innovation by 2021.